Yesterday, by the way, I'm going to talk about this a lot in, in the next uh, couple of hours. This is now going to be the ninth day in a row of an above average high and seven out of eight of those days have been above 85, mm -hmm. 85 or higher. And today we're going to add another one to that list. But you know what happens sometimes when you've got dry air like this with no rain? You got it sneezing because we have a high pollen count. Ragwood, elm and grasses all will be in the medium to high category today through Friday. There is a chance of going into next week for those of you that have been relying on the Claritin like me or you've had your inhaler that you won't have to do much next week because we may get some rain, but still no measurable rain for a few days here. 56 in Tipton. Good morning, Lafayette. You're at 55. Our friends in Hartford City and Upland at Taylor University at 55. The Eagles in Zionsville soaring through 50 this morning, but it is 16 degrees warmer here in Indianapolis. Shelbyville's at 56. Uh, good morning, Nashville, 59. And boy, I can't wait because we're really only about two weeks away from the major throngs coming to Brown County as we enter the fall season. Uh, you know, one of the reasons that it, even though it gets hot, you're not sweating as much is because it's dry out there. 49 is the dew point here in Indiana. We're used to 80s with, you know, the heat and the humidity. We don't have the high humidity and we won't today. 67 by 9 a.m. as you're headed off to work, but coming home again, our high 87. And I think the key to this is the winds are out of the east northeast at six. Now, usually when you've got dry air like what we have, you warm up quickly, but you also cool down quickly. And that's why we're in the 60s. Boy, do I wish we had some rain. We're in a deficit if you go past a month of three inches plus in Bloomington and Bedford. That's why everything is so brown. But doesn't this look good? Our dry weather is going to subside once we get to the end of the weekend. And you'll notice it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, especially late Sunday, probably after the Bears Colts game and then into Monday and then into Tuesday, we've got some chances of getting wet around here. Now, this big ridge of high pressure again, feeding us this east northeasterly breeze. Notice that as we move into Friday, Friday morning, there's going to be rain in portions of uh, Illinois and Missouri. Then as we go into the afternoon, we could see a few spotty showers, but really we're waiting to Sunday and that's when this front will move through high pressure moves in. This thing is going to move into Canada and that will allow this rain forming in Missouri to maybe be here Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. Let's keep our fingers crossed for that because really folks, we need some rain 87 today and 89 tomorrow. The big 90 returns on Friday.